hi everyone uh, in today's video uh, which is a short video i will uh, take you through an example and show you how to calculate the turning circle of a vessel or a ship at anchor so i will explain what is a turning circle of a vessel at anchor and uh, the formula for it then i will take up an example and i will also explain what you actually get when you calculate the turning circle of a vessel at anchor so we of course the first diagram here is of a vessel at anchor and you can see that here the vessel has dropped anchor in water and it is riding toward anchor but once we do that we must calculate the turning circle radius so when we mean turning circle radius uh, we mean we kind of try to calculate how much in a circular diameter how much area will the vessel need to ride on its anchor and move about so once the vessel is riding to our anchor it doesn't mean that the vessel is stationary or stopped in water all right so it is of course stopped but it will swing on its anchor so the anchor will have some cable it will have some extra cable then based on the weather conditions the waves and uh, the current and the wind the vessel will ride on an anchor it will hold the anchor but it will swing about it might swing about in a circular fashion so we need to know what is the radius of the turning circle so this here gives us the radius of the turning circle and this is what we calculate using a formula what this helps us to know is that if there are other vessels at anchor here let's say there is one vessel here and there is another vessel here so which vessel will be out of the turning circle and which vessel will be inside the turning circle because there will be other vessels at anchor here as well so once you know whether your turn what is your turning circle then you will know whether your vessel can safely ride to an anchor cable based on the turning circle calculation or else you will have to either move and change your anchorage position or you must watch your vessel to make sure that the other vessel does not come very close during the turning we normally do the first thing we some go somewhere else and drop anchor because we don't want to take chances to our a vessel's a structural kind of integrity once the anchor is dropped because once the vessel hits another vessel even though both might be at anchorage the structural integrity of the vessel may get damaged so how do we calculate the turning circle radius so you can see here itself that we have the vessel riding to her anchor and the first thing we can calculate is the shackle length in of the anchor cable paid out so we calculate the number of shackles paid out and that will give us the shackle length i'll show you how all right so we depending on the depth of the water and the weather conditions we pay out certain number of shackles of an anchor so the length of the shackle and the length of the vessel gives us the turning circle radius all right but there is a way to go about it i'll show you an example and you can see here we are assuming this is the anchor dropping point all right so when the vessel drops anchor and it is riding to it then we know whether the vessel will be safe at anchorage or not that is the purpose of calculating the turning circle radius all right so what is the formula of calculating turning circle radius so we can calculate it, the length of the shackle in meters i'll show you how plus the length of the vessel this will also be in meters and we divide it by the number 1852 to get the turning circle radius in nautical miles because 1852 meters is equal to 1 nautical mile so when we add the length of shackle in meters to the length of the vessel and we divide it by 1852 the resulting turning circle that we get is in nautical miles let me take an example and show you how we do that so the question here is what is the turning circle of a vessel that is 200 meters in length that has dropped four shackles of anchor cable in the water 
all right so this cable refers to the anchor cable of course all right so it has dropped four shackles of anchor cable in the water and the length of the vessel is 200 meters so how do you calculate that so by the above formula you will first calculate the length of the shackle in meters so we have four shackles one shackle of anchor cable equals 27.5 meters all right ideally so four shackles will be four times 27.5 meters plus the length of the vessel which is in this case of course is 200 meters divided by 1852 which will be 310 divided by 1852 which will give you the turning circle radius of 0 0.17 nautical miles all right then you can use the this turning circle radius you go and go to the chart you can pinpoint the anchor dropping point and then keeping the anchor dropping point in the center you can draw the turning circle using a radius of 0.17 nautical miles you can use a ship's compass you can use a no ship's compass you can use a compass all right and uh, measure out 0.17 nautical miles from the side of the chart right using the latitude scale and then you can draw this circle which will give you the turning circle radius so often masters after dropping anchor might ask their junior officers to draw the turning circle of a vessel at anchor this is how you do it all right so if you are a second officer or third officer or chief officer you must know how to do this and as a captain of course you must know it as well because this keeps your ship safe at anchorage so i hope you guys understood this video if you have any further questions let me know i will go more into the depths of anchoring procedures this is the simplest one of the simplest calculations and videos i have made but i'll explain more intricate aspects of anchoring in my future videos keep watching